Today, I'm back with a brand new TV stuff review. We're going to be reviewing the Emerald French Door Air Fryer 360. This is a 10 in one, so it's going to grill, air fry, rotisserie, dehydrate, roast, bake, broil, proof, slow cook, and toast. That's right, you name it, this bad boy can absolutely do it. I will include pictures of this as well. Nice thick manual there. You do have a handful of accessories here. And we're going to start with something super simple. I'm not sure if you can see, but I got four little pot stickers on this little tray and I'm just going to put this. Okay, now I have put a handful of tater tots on the same little pan and we're just going to close it up. Okay, next I wanna try out the grill setting, but I am in an apartment, so I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to do hamburgers or a steak, but I do have two bratwurst right in there. Now let's bake some muffins. Let's get to cooking. Rising up like phoenixes, I'm tired of bush down the ground. Hey y'all, my name's Christina Louise. You can follow me on social at Feisty Fit Coaching. Today, I'm back with a brand new TV stuff review. We're going to be reviewing the Emerald French Door Air Fryer 360. As you can see, it comes in this big cardboard box. This is the only information on the outside. The same information is on the opposite side of the box, but let's go ahead and open it up. Awesome, a box within a box. This should be fun to try to get out. So this is what it looks like when I pull it straight up and out of the box. There are accessories on either side of the styrofoam, so let's go ahead and finish unwrapping it. Here it is, the Emerald French Door Air Fryer 360. This is a 10 in one, so it's going to grill, air fry, rotisserie, dehydrate, roast, bake, broil, proof, slow cook, and toast. That's right, you name it this bad boy can absolutely do it. Comes with a bunch of information here. We have just your typical warnings. We wanna give you a five-star experience. Please leave a review. You have a French door and air fryer favorites. Looks like a little cookbook. Air fry, bake, roast, and much more. Ooh, nice. We'll definitely include some pictures out of this. Ooh, that looks tasty. Okay. You also have your owner's manual. Walks you through the important safeguards, attaching the power cord, the parts and accessories, using all of the accessories, the control panel, all of the preset information, the instructions for use, cleaning, storage, troubleshooting, frequently asked questions, and they even have a money back guarantee. I will include pictures of this as well. Nice thick manual there and just a quick little quick start guide here as well. You have air frying on the front and then there's the rotisserie here on the back. You do have a handful of accessories here. You have just your standard tray right there for air frying, a little bit of a basket, a solid tray as well. We do have this as well as a grilling pan. That's why, right, you guys, this one can grill as well. And then all of the little attachments for the rotisserie too. So let's get to cooking. All right, I went ahead, plugged in the air fryer, put the tray on the fourth level. This is for bake and toast. And we're going to start with something super simple. Half of a bagel. Go ahead, put it in there. You will use the little dial to change the settings. Air fry, fries, toast. Let's go ahead and change it from four pieces. Three pieces, two piece, one piece, and it automatically changed the time. We're gonna go ahead, push start. That puts it at five minutes and 30 seconds. Yes, obviously I could put this in the toaster and it would be a lot quicker, but we're gonna try it here in the new air fryer. All right, you guys, it's beeping. It looks like our toast is done or our bagel is toasted and it looks absolutely perfect. All right, our bagel is done. It is perfectly toasted. It looks so yummy. 
Okay, next we are going to use the air frying function. So I'm just going to take this tray out. I'm going to put it to the side. I'm not sure if you can see, but I got four little pot stickers on this little tray and I'm just going to put this right in there on the same level as before. And remember, we have our drip tray already down below, so we will close this up. I'm going to turn this back to air fry. I know that these need to be on 350, so I'll push for the temperature. I'm going to just turn this down, and then I'm going to change the time to 10 minutes and start. Okay, so the pot stickers are still in here, and they're still cooking, but I wanted to take just a minute to talk about the sound here. I know sometimes these air fryers, these little toaster ovens can get rather noisy, and whereas, yes, this does have a little bit of a humming noise, it is definitely better than the last one I reviewed. I'm not sure if you guys caught that video, but by the end of it, I was so annoyed with how obnoxiously loud the unit itself was, I could not, but this is way better and I'm super excited to try these pot stickers. So I wasn't quick enough to catch it on tape, but it did just start beeping several times and I noticed by the timer it was about halfway through the cycle, so I'm assuming it is to turn it, but with these pot stickers, I am not turning them. They're in there. They'll be done when 10 minutes is up. All right, the pot stickers are all done, so we'll open it up. Ooh, they look perfect. Pull them on out. Oh, and just a little bit of grease drip there on the bottom. Perfect. Okay, now I have put a handful of tater tots on the same little pan, and we're just going to close it up, turn it on, leave it on the air fryer setting. I am going to turn up the heat to 400, and I'm going to adjust the time to 12 minutes, and all done. Nice and crispy, just the way I like them. Okay, next I want to try out the grill setting, but I am in an apartment, so I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to do hamburgers or a steak, but I do have two bratwurst right in there. I put the grill tray on that bottom level, just like it notates on the door, level seven for grill or slow cook. I'm going to close that up. I will push start to turn it on. Use the dial to go all the way over to grill. I'm going to adjust the temperature and I'm going to take it down to 400. And then I'm also going to adjust the time and I'm going to drop it down to 10 minutes and start. All right, it just beeped for the halfway mark, so I'm actually going to open it up and flip them. Ooh, they're looking good. And again, very minimal noise. There is no smoke, so I probably totally could have grilled some burgers or a steak, but for the first time, this will do. All right, 10 minutes is up, they are all done. Oh, just a little smoke, you can turn on the vent for that. Ooh, you guys, they look perfect. Okay, I will say I am impressed <laughs> with the grilling feature for sure. Now let's bake some muffins. I have a can of six blueberry muffins right here. I am going to preheat the air fryer first and then we'll put them in to bake. All right, so now we're going to make some blueberry muffins. I'm just going to preheat before we get started. So I'm going to turn the little dial all the way over to bake. 
And then I'm going to adjust the temperature to 400. And then I'm going to change the time to 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and push start. That's going to preheat and when it beeps, we'll go ahead and put in the muffins. So just so you can get a little preview of the sound of the unit while it is preheating. Now that it's preheated, I'm going to go ahead and put the muffins in. It's at 400. The timer is already counting down, so we'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, so I've been keeping a close eye on these blueberry muffins, and when there was still eight minutes remaining, the tops were already pretty golden brown, but when I checked in the middle, it was still raw. Now I did stop it with two and a half minutes still remaining, but you will see why. <laughs> Before they got too burnt and toasted, hey, they don't look that bad on camera, I wanted to just go ahead and take them out. So although it said 400 for 14 to 16 minutes, maybe take it down to about 350, 375, um, something that I'm definitely going to have to play with, but I'm still excited to eat those muffins. Okay, we have baked some muffins, we have toasted a bagel, we used the air fryer for pot stickers and for tater tots, and we even grilled a couple of bratwurst. Now I'm back to give you my final thoughts on the Emerald French Door Air Fryer 360. I would give it four out of five stars. I absolutely love it. Honestly, my only complaint is how big <laughs> this thing is. Being in an apartment, I genuinely don't know where I'm going to store it, but I absolutely love all the features. It's super easy to use, really easy to clean. I did even go ahead and just put a piece of foil on that drip pan on the bottom to make it even easier on myself moving forward. But don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and even click that little bell in the corner. That way you will get notifications each time we post a new video and you'll never miss a thing. Until next time, bye y'all.